Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to install behavior packs on Minecraft Bedrock Edition. This will be specifically for Windows 10. So first of all, you want to search something like this. Minecraft Windows 10 Behavior Packs. And then some websites will come up. This is the one I used, mcpedl.com. If you go to it, you'll see that there's quite a few add-ons that you can just download immediately. So for this video, we are going to use the Easter add-on. You can use any add-on you want, they pretty much all work the same. So once you're on the page, you will see everything just explaining how it works. And if you scroll down to the bottom, you will see the download. Download.mc add-on. It will ask you to confirm that you're leaving, which you just click, click here to continue, and it'll take you to a new page. Here, once again, explain everything, but you can just click download.mc add-on. It might take you to a media file, but it completely depends on which add-on you download. So as you can see, I'm going to download this. And then once it has downloaded, I'm just going to click on it. And it'll open up Minecraft and have a percentage, and it will then say import started. And as you can see, it successfully imported Easter add-on behavior pack. And it successfully imported the Easter add-on resource pack. So now if we go to settings, and we scroll down to global resources, we can see in my packs, we can actually install the Easter add-on resource pack by just clicking it, and then clicking activate. Then if we do go ahead and create a new world, we can go to behavior packs, my packs, and we can activate the Easter add-on behavior pack. Because it is a behavior pack, you will have to disable achievements. So just click continue. And if you go to active packs, you will see the Easter add-on behavior pack. Right, so I've now loaded in. And if I go to my inventory, and I go through the mob eggs, I can actually find the Easter bunny mob egg. So of course it will completely depend on which one you download, but if I do this, you can see it spawns in an Easter bunny. This is of course because we added an Easter add-on. So that is pretty much it, it's really really simple to actually download these. We're now going to install another add-on to just show you how to do it once again. So for this one we're going to go for the trophy stands. As you can see it just explains it, and if we scroll down enough, you see there is a download here. We click the download and click continue once again. Now some of them may take you through adfly stuff, which basically don't click anything on the screen until you see this skip ad thing at the top corner. And then it may open a new page, which you just go back to the old one and click skip add again. And then when it says press allow, just click the X, and it'll come up again, click the X again. And then finally we get to Mediafire where we can download it. So if we click download, it is already downloaded, and we can just click it, and it will open Minecraft, and import started. As you can see, it successfully imported trophy stands. So now we go to settings global resources, my packs, and we need to enable trophies stand. And now if you want to use it on one of our games, I'm just going to create a new world for this to make it a little bit easier. We're going to go to behavior packs, my packs, and enable trophy stand. We'll then click continue with this, and then click create. You may also need to change it to creative, uh, depending on what one it is. Also for some, you may need to activate experimental gameplay. This is in the game setting in the create page. And as you can see, we have Spawn Stand. Anyway, hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, definitely leave a like and also subscribe. It helps us out a lot. Anyway, see you next time.